Okay, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, April 12th. My name is Ian Shepard, and I'm the owner of Right Start Newcomer Services. So welcome to today's Learn Canadian English lesson. This is for high beginner or low intermediate students, people who are living in Canada, coming to Canada later in the future. This video is for everybody who wants to improve their English. So let's get started. Uh, before we get started, I want to say the land acknowledgement. So before we begin, I would like to acknowledge that Right Start Newcomer Services conducts business in Chibuktuk, which is how you say Halifax in the Mi'kmaq language. This city is part of the ancestral unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. This means that when settlers came, the indigenous people did not surrender their territory and instead sign treaties with Europeans. As a business, we are committed to upholding these treaties as we continue to build relationships between settlers, newcomers, and Mi'kmaq people. So thank you very much. Um, so welcome everybody to the live stream. Remember you can comment, so ask questions, answer questions, chat to each other, say hello in the comments section, and we always love to hear from you. Uh, if you're watching after, feel free to comment too. I will go back and check your comments and answer any questions you might have. Uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. And we're trying to build our YouTube channel, so please do us a favor and do that for us. Okay, so let's get started. Today's lesson is very exciting, I think, because this is something that we all like to do. Today's lesson is about ordering food in a restaurant. Um, so I see we have a few viewers here. Abdullah, hey Abdullah, great to see you again. It was really nice seeing you on the tour on the weekend. And thank you very much for coming along on the tour, Abdullah. You're welcome to come back anytime and it was great connecting with you again. And Bay is here, great. Hi Bay, welcome back. Thank you for joining today's live stream. So good to see you too. Okay, so today's lesson, ordering food in a restaurant. So how many of you out there have been to a restaurant in Canada? So you can just say me or I have if you've been to a restaurant in Canada. Uh, maybe you can say, what is your favorite type of restaurant? Or, you know, what type of food do you like to eat at a restaurant? So comment as we go through. I would love to hear your comments on the restaurants you've been to, what type of food you like, that type of thing. Uh, Irene's here too, great. Hi Irene, thank you for joining the live stream today. Good to see you again. Okay, so today we're gonna learn how to order food in a restaurant, how to ask questions, uh, what else? How to complain, so if the food is not good, what are some things we can say? And we're also going to talk about culture a little bit. So how should we behave when we are in a restaurant? Um, there is Michelle. Michelle's back. And Michelle, I have veggie sushi. Veggie sushi is my favorite. So she has been to restaurants and she loves to have veggie sushi. I also like sushi. Um, so sushi is a traditional Japanese food that usually has fish or vegetables and rice, and it's very delicious. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, nice to see you today on the live stream. Okay, so let's move on. So today's plan, uh, we're gonna talk about ordering food in a restaurant. There is quite a lot of vocabulary to learn. When you are thinking about going to a restaurant, there's a lot of words that we should know. So we're gonna look at those first. After that, we're going to look at sentences or expressions we can use to get the food we want, to complain about the food, and things like that. Uh, we will look at Canadian culture a bit, so tips for eating in a restaurant. Then we're going to do some practice. So I'm going to play the role of the waiter or server, and you're going to answer my questions and order food in the restaurant at the end of today's lesson. Okay, sound good? Perfect. All right, so let's start with restaurant vocabulary. And I'm gonna ask you, what vocabulary do you know already about these restaurant topics? 
So what are the different places we can eat? What are some of the different types of restaurants or places to eat in Canada? Um, for example, we have coffee shops or cafes. Those are basically the same thing, right? We go order coffee, tea, drinks, but they also have some food items, usually small things like sandwiches, muffins, cookies, that type of thing. Can you think of any other places we can eat? Okay, uh, there are also places called bars or pubs. Pub is short for public house. So the focus here is more on alcohol, but they also have food. So drink a beer, have some food like nachos, and have a good time. So have you ever been to a bar or pub and had some food there? Oh, my favorite restaurant, all you can eat restaurant. So this is, uh, you can probably guess what this type of restaurant is. So you pay a certain amount, maybe $20, $30, and you can eat all the food you want. You usually cannot take the food home, but you eat all the food you want there, and then you stuff yourself, and then you get to go home and feel sick all day. Lots of international restaurants. So we have Chinese, Italian, Korean, Japanese, Mexican, Middle Eastern, Turkish, there's all different international restaurants. Uh, my favorites, I love Chinese, I love Italian, I love Korean, I love all restaurants. I love to try foods from different places and Canada, you have a lot of chances to do that. Okay, what is a fast food restaurant? Maybe you can give me an example of a fast food restaurant in Canada and many fast food restaurants are in different countries as well. So what is fast food? I forgot my juggling balls. Um, so I will just stand here and wait for somebody to give me a fast food restaurant. Don't be shy, right? Everybody can answer. Maybe you don't know, and that's okay. You can just write in the comment section, I don't know. <gasps> Joyce has one. Okay, hi, Joyce. Okay, KFC. KFC is a fast food restaurant. KFC stands for Kentucky Fried Chicken. So mainly they serve chicken. Oh, and very good, Joyce. Bay has one, Mick, short for McDonald's. McDonald's, okay, so long word is McDonald's. We sometimes say Mickey D's. Mickey D's is also another name for McDonald's. Okay, very good, Bay. Burger King, okay, so if you like burgers, like hamburgers, chicken burgers, lots of people like to go to Burger King. Uh, I am a vegetarian right now, so I know that they have vegetarian burgers now. They have plant burgers, so I can't wait to try that at Burger King. Uh, very good, Irene. Uh, Michelle says McDonald's. Okay, that was one of my favorites. Uh, I like their fries. Joyce says hi, and Abdullah says kebabs. Yes, so there are kebab restaurants that are fast food. You can get kebabs, uh, that type of Middle Eastern food, uh, shawarma, kebab, that type of thing. And another one, Wendy's. Wendy's is a very popular uh, restaurant here in Canada and in other countries as well. So fast food restaurants are a little different. You don't really have a waiter. Basically, you go to the front, the counter, you order your food from the menu, and then you take your own food to the seat, and there's nobody really helping you. You have to go back to the counter if you want different food or more food. Okay, great answer. So you guys know your fast food restaurants. Um, fast food restaurants are good because the food is fast, but usually it's not the healthiest food in the world. 
Okay, what other types of restaurants are there? Oh, fine dining. This means that the restaurant is a sit-down restaurant. They have very good food, but also very expensive food. So the meals in a fine dining restaurant can be $50 per person or more. Could be $100, could be even more than that. So I usually don't go to fine dining restaurants because you have to dress up and it's very expensive, and I like to save my money instead. Do we have any other comments? Not yet. Oh, okay, I like these restaurants too. What is a buffet restaurant? So notice the pronunciation. We don't say buffet, we say buffet. So the T is silent. What is a buffet restaurant? This is good vocabulary for you. Buffet and all you can eat maybe go together. So you can have a buffet all you can eat restaurant. Okay, I don't see any answers there yet. So buffet means that they have a table with food on the table and you go up with your plate, pick up the food you want, go back and sit down. Basically, it's a restaurant where you get your own food. You serve yourself, and usually you can go back and get more food later. So could be breakfast buffet, lunch buffet, dinner buffet. Uh, okay, so buffets are good because you get to choose and try lots of different foods. Maybe not so good because sometimes the food is cold and isn't always the freshest food. Okay, so we're learning lots of new words. Oh, go back, go back. Okay, next one. There are now becoming more and more vegetarian restaurants. So a vegetarian is a person who does not eat, what, vegetables? What does a vegetarian not eat? Okay, I'll wait a second for you to answer. So I said earlier, I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat. Nobody has an answer. Meat. Okay, very good. So Irene wrote meat. Abdullah wrote meat and Bay Road meat. So vegetarians usually do not eat meat and usually not fish either, but some vegetarians eat fish. Okay, very good. Irene, uh, one little thing, your meat. This is how you spell meat when we say nice to meet you. But the food meat is spelled like this, M-E-A-T. So meat, M-E-A-T, when you are talking about animal meat or something like that. Okay, very good. Great answers, guys. There is another word, vegan. Does anybody know what vegan means? So it's, it's like a vegetarian, but a little bit different. Vegans don't eat what? Uh, you're welcome, Irene. You're very welcome. Uh, now you know the, the spelling of meat, at least. So what is the difference between vegetarian and vegan? I'm a vegetarian, but I'm not vegan. Okay, just wait another second for an answer. Okay, I don't see any answers, but uh, feel free to keep writing your answers. Vegan means they do not eat animal products. So, no meat, but also no milk. Very good, Bay. So, they don't eat meat, they don't eat eggs, they don't eat fish, they don't drink milk. Anything that comes from an animal could be butter, um, any of those things Bay mentioned. 
Even honey, some vegans don't eat honey because it comes from bees. So I'm not vegan, many people are because they don't like the, maybe the taste, they don't like how it makes them feel, or they don't like what happens to the animals because sometimes animals are mistreated and they don't like that. So luckily, thank you very much, Bay. great answer. Luckily, there are lots of options now for vegetarians and vegans, and there are specific restaurants for vegetarians and vegans, or other restaurants, they have an option for vegetarians and vegans to eat. Last but not least, there are food trucks. So these are becoming more and more popular in Canada. So instead of having a restaurant, there is a truck. Uh, they drive around maybe to different parts of the city. They park the truck, you go up to the truck and order French fries, fish and chips, um, hamburgers, all different types of food now. And especially in summer, they become more and more popular in Canada. Uh, so Bay has a comment here. Great, so animal exploration. Um, almost, yeah. So I think the word you're looking for is exploitation. Uh, exploration means you look for something, right? So exploitation, I'll write that in the comment section. So I, I think the word you're looking for is exploitation. And they are using animals for their own benefit. And it's bad for the animals. Okay, great. So of these restaurants that we talked about, uh, so yeah, there's the spelling of exploitation. And you're welcome, Bay. Uh, you're welcome for that. So what type do you like? Do you like to go to bars? Do you like Chinese food or Chinese restaurants? Do you like fine dining? Um, or do you prefer all you can eat restaurants? So what type of restaurant do you like to go to? Or maybe you like all kinds of restaurants. Uh, to be honest, my favorite is all you can eat. I like to not eat for a while, then eat all the food I can at once because I can get my money's worth. Uh, but I also like different international cuisines, Chinese, Japanese, it's, it's all good to me. Okay, great, let's move on. So those were the different types of places to eat. Let's next talk about meals. So. These are different meals you can have in a restaurant or different parts of the menu when you go out to eat. That's important to learn about. So first meal of the day is breakfast, right? So lots of people eat breakfast. They say breakfast is very important for your energy for the day. Maybe this is a new word for you. We also have something in Canada called brunch. What is brunch? And when do we eat brunch? I'll give you a second to think about that. I went for brunch on Saturday with my mom. So we did a tour, a Halifax tour, um, and then mom and I went for brunch at a very good restaurant in Halifax. So what is brunch? I don't see any answers. So brunch is something that usually happens on the weekends. So usually Saturday and Sunday, many restaurants will serve, it's a combination of breakfast and lunch. So usually in the morning from about nine, 10 o'clock until about one o'clock or two o'clock in the afternoon, they will serve a special menu with breakfast things, but also lunch things on that menu. So brunch, I love brunch. I love going for brunch. It's a, it's a cool thing to do. Lunch, everybody knows lunch. It's the next meal of the day, usually eaten 12 o'clock, one o'clock, something like that. And then the final meal of the day is dinner or supper. Usually I say uh, dinner, my wife says supper. Some people call lunch dinner. 
So depending where you live in Canada, it can be a little confusing. So dinner to me means the last meal of the day. Okay. So when you go out to eat, often you go for drinks or beverages. So these are things you can drink while you eat, uh, water, tea, coffee, alcohol. There are so many options for your drinks. Dessert, what is dessert? Or maybe you can give me an example of dessert. What is your favorite dessert? I'm thinking about dessert now and it's making me hungry. I have a sweet tooth. That's an expression in Canada. Sweet tooth means you like sweet things. That's a hint. What is dessert? Okay, anybody still there? Oh, what's that? Brigadero. I don't know what that means. So is that Brazilian? That's my guess. Is it a Brazilian dessert? Maybe, Bay, you can explain a little bit what that means? Because, you know, honestly, that's not very common here in Canada. I've never seen that on a menu in Canada. So if you can just write a sentence explaining what Brigadero means, I'd love to learn about it and I'd love to try it sometime. Okay, so it is Brazilian. Uh, I was right on my guess. Um, but what is it? What is, is it like a cake? Is it like a pudding? What type of food is that? Sounds yummy though. Okay, so dessert is usually something we eat, usually not breakfast time, but maybe lunch time or dinner time. We have something sweet after the meal. So sometimes we have cake, uh, pie. Okay, uh, great. I, I can't read those first two words, Irene, uh, but the third one, tiramisu. I know tiramisu, and I think we have a picture of it later. So tiramisu is a kind of, I think, Italian cake, if I'm not wrong. Yes, exactly. Tiramisu is delicious. It's, it's a kind of cake, a uh, very light cake with lots of cream and chocolate on top, and it's a delicious cake. Okay, thank you. Very good, Irene. Uh, you're making me hungry. So. Often it's good to know desserts. Most restaurants will serve some kind of dessert after lunch or dinner. And I said about it. Oh, uh, also we need to know the word main course. So the main course is the main thing that you eat for your meal. So maybe it's a pizza or spaghetti or pasta or something like that. It's the main thing that you eat while there can be things on the side, like salad or soup or something on the side. And like I said, there's something that we have on the side, like a side dish, but also they call it starter. Sometimes we have a small plate of food to start the meal. And then after that, we have the main course or the main dish. So the words you should know, starter, appetizer, and if we eat it on the side, side or side dish. Okay, uh, Bay answered, what are brigadeiros? So, some chocolate balls, Brazilian sweets made of chocolate and condensed milk. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Uh, I love chocolate, so I would love to try those at some point. Uh, I don't know if you can get them where I am in Halifax. Maybe I'll look around and maybe I can find those here in Halifax. I'm sure the big cities. So if you're living in Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal, you can find those things more easily than a smaller city like Halifax, where I live. But who knows? Maybe I can find them in Halifax. I will do my best. So thank you for sharing, Bay. That's awesome. Okay, so it's good to know what are the different meals, what are the different parts of the menu, so when we go to a restaurant, we know where to look for what we want to eat. Okay, moving on. So in a restaurant, we need to know some of the people, some of the things that we will encounter inside the restaurant. 
So the people to start, there is a host or hostess. These are usually the first people you meet when you go in a restaurant. So they will be standing by the door. Now with COVID, they will take your name and telephone number, and then they will show you to the table when a table is ready. Okay, so it's good to know who is the host or hostess. After that, you will meet the server. Also, we call them waiter or waitress, but server works for, for everybody. So the server is the person who takes your order and then they bring you your food later. Also, the people responsible for cooking your food are either cooks or chefs usually. So a chef is usually the highest cook in the restaurant. They plan the menus and they, they prepare the, the difficult dishes. And then usually there's a bartender, somebody who makes drinks for people. Uh, a bar or restaurant may have a bartender as well. Okay, great. Moving on, uh, reservation. So many restaurants that are popular, you need to make a reservation. So you can call or do it online and book a table at a certain restaurant at a certain time. Often they ask you when you go in, do you have a reservation? Did you plan for a table in advance? You can say yes or no. If no, you might have to wait. Okay, when you get inside the restaurant, tables, chairs, booth. Okay, that maybe this is a new word. Uh, a booth has benches instead of chairs. So there's a table, maybe both sides there are benches where they're sort of longer, longer chairs where you can sit. Uh, I like booths because they're, they feel nice, the, the chairs are soft. Uh, counter, some places you can eat at the counter. Often there's a bar and you need to know where the washroom is as well. So if you don't understand any of these words, just let me know in the comment section. Okay, uh, order, we need to know the order. So the order is what you want to eat and you give that to your server when you're ready to, to choose your food. All right, so on the table, these words are important. So a plate, a dish, um, or you could say bowl. So different, how do you say it? Things that food is served on, right? Maybe served on a plate, dish is the same as a plate or in a bowl. Cutlery is the things you use to eat your food. So it could be knife for cutting, spoon for things like soup or fork for things like meat. Okay, so you might not have those things on your table. So you might need to ask the server, excuse me, could I have a fork, please? Excuse me, my spoon is dirty. Okay, so it's important you know what those things are called. There may be others, right? Maybe you go to a Chinese restaurant. Do they use forks usually in a Chinese restaurant or do they use something else? What is that thing? And we'll come back to that. Uh, a napkin. Napkin is for wiping your face. Or some people put it on their lap when they're eating so they don't spill food on themselves. Also, you need to know what condiments are. Condiments are little things like sauces that go on your food. So ketchup for your french fries, mustard for your hamburger, salt, pepper, um, just to, to make the food taste the way that you want it to. So again, you might have to ask, uh, excuse me, may I have some ketchup, please? Or where is the salt? There is no salt here, can I have some salt, please? So these are really good words to know when you are going to eat in a restaurant. Uh, so I don't see the answer for what they use in a Chinese restaurant. I'll write the answer here. Chopsticks. So chopsticks are the two usually wooden utensils that they use to, 
to eat food in Chinese, Japanese, uh, some other Asian restaurants as well. Okay, great. So a few more words here. Menu, I think we all know the word menu. Uh, and also we need to know when we are ready to pay. We need the check or we need the bill. So we use both of those words. Uh, may I have the check, please? May I have the bill, please? Uh, Chris says, hashies. Chris, uh, nice to see you again, Chris. Uh, I met Chris on the weekend at one of our tours and he's a great guy. I don't know what that word means. Hashish, that's not really served in restaurants here. Um, can you explain what hashies is? Yeah, I, I'm not sure, Chris, but maybe, yeah, I can learn something else today. I already learned about brigadeiros, so teach me what hashies are. Um, anything else? Tip. Oh, let's talk about tips. Actually, let's talk about tipping in Canada later. But a tip is, sorry, my phone's ringing. Oh, Japanese fork, really? So Chris says that hashis is like a Japanese fork. Very cool. I never heard that before, Chris. So I learned something else new today. Uh, I know, Chris, you lived in Japan a long time, something like 11 years. So you are the expert on Japanese utensils. So thank you, Chris. Um, yeah, I, I, I've never seen that here in Canada, but maybe if you go to a Japanese restaurant, you will see that here. Uh, so the last word there, what is a tip? When we are talking about uh, a restaurant. So you can write your answer in the comments and let's move on to the next slide. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the different meals and some of the common foods for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. So in Canada, very common to have pancakes. So pancakes are like made with flour or maybe eggs and milk. And we put Canadian maple syrup on that. So, Pancakes, waffles, French toast, they're all kind of the same. Uh, a little bit different because French toast is made with bread and waffles are made using a special device called waffle maker. Um, so these are very common, very good with maple syrup and delicious for breakfast. Eggs, Canadians love eggs. So for breakfast, often a lot of the foods are served with eggs you can have scrambled. Scrambled is mixed, mixed up. You can also have sunny side up where the egg sits up and you can see the yellow yolk on the top. You can also order over easy. That's the way I like it, over easy, which means they flip the egg at the end for about 30 seconds. You can have boiled eggs, also, my favorite, Eggs Benedict. Um, I had an Eggs Benedict, vegetarian Eggs Benedict the other day, and it was delicious. It's egg on a muffin, a uh, toasted English muffin with sauce on the top. And there's also things called omelets. Omelets are eggs with other things inside, like cheese, vegetables, maybe some meat. On the side, for breakfast, we have bacon, which comes from pig, so pork, sausages, which are also usually pork, ham, which is also pork, uh, toast, hash browns, hash browns are potatoes, fruit salad, muffins, things like that. So these are very common breakfast foods that you'll find in Canada when you go out for breakfast. For lunch, Lunch is usually, um, like I said, eaten around noon. Usually we have smaller lunches. So we'll have maybe breakfast, small lunch, maybe big dinner at the end of the day. So a lot of people have lighter food for lunch. Sandwiches, so something, two pieces of bread, 
with something in the middle, meat, cheese, vegetables, that type of thing. A wrap is like a sandwich, but instead of two pieces of bread, we use like a tortilla. So a bigger flat type of bread that we roll up and then you can eat it with one hand. Burgers, burgers are very popular. Hamburgers, veggie burger, chicken burger. There's a million different types of burgers in Canada. Now these are becoming popular, bowls. So a bowl usually has rice, maybe vegetables, maybe some meat like chicken or some other things in it. Uh, those are very good. Pizza, Canadians love pizza. There is a pizza restaurant on every corner. Uh, remember Abdullah when we went downtown, we saw pizza corner in Halifax and there was pizza, 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 pizza everywhere you went. So I love pizza, pizza is great, but I think there's too many pizza restaurants in Canada. Pasta, so pasta, it's usually Italian food. So we have noodles with some meat or vegetables or, or sauce. On the side, you can have soup, salad, fries. Sometimes we say French fries or you can just say fries. Okay. Uh, oh, this is great. So we do have an answer when I asked about tip. Very good answer, Irene. That is perfect. We give tips to waiters. This is our gratitude for their work. Very good. So tip is like extra money you pay to thank them for doing a good job or tell them that you like the meal. In Canada, we are expected to tip at most restaurants. Uh, so fast food restaurants, no, you do not tip at McDonald's. But if you go to a place where you sit down, you should leave a tip uh, unless things are terrible. If it was bad service, bad food, everything was terrible, maybe you don't leave a tip, but usually we do leave a tip. And we'll talk about that a bit later as well. So we talked about lunch. Uh, thank you very much, Irene. Perfect answer. We will discuss that more soon. Dinner. So the bigger meal, uh, again, you can have sort of lunch things for dinner. Um, but also there is bigger things like steak. Steak is a, usually a bigger piece of meat, usually beef. Ribs can come from beef or uh, pork and different types of chicken. Pasta or pizza again. Uh, nachos. I love nachos. It's borrowed from Mexican food. So it has chips, small tortilla chips with cheese, vegetables, sometimes meat on them. Chicken wings are very popular, and some restaurants have a special wing night. Once a week, you can go get chicken wings for a lower price. Uh, there's also chicken fingers poutine. Poutine is a Canadian food with French fries, cheese, and gravy. Gravy is usually a meat sauce, but it could be uh, vegetarian as well. Seafood is very popular. So different kinds of fish, lobster. I used to like lobster. Mussels are sort of small seafood in a shell and shrimp. I think you can see in the picture, there is shrimp in that picture. Stir fry. So stir fry is kind of like a bowl with mixed, um, usually vegetables, maybe meat in small pieces usually served with rice or noodles. And of course, don't miss dessert. This looks a little bit like tiramisu. Uh, so for desserts or drinks, drinks you can have coffee, tea, water, pop, which is what we call soda here in Canada, juice, beer, wine. Cocktails is usually an alcoholic drink with alcohol and maybe some juice or soda or something like that. For dessert, cake, pie, ice cream, that type of thing. Okay, so those were the different menu options. So after this is finished, you can go to the website, you can look at all of these different types of food, you can look them up, you can practice them, because it is important you can read the menu, uh, or 
you can use your phone or translator when you're at the restaurant say oh what is nachos look it up on your phone and then you'll be able to know what you're ordering or even better you can ask ask the server excuse me what is uh steak and they will explain to you what steak means and then decide if you want to try that food okay great job everybody a uh, few people are still with us so let's practice a little bit of expressions so what do they say so what does the server or host or hostess say to you and what can you say in return so let's get a little bit of practice with that so for example you arrive in the restaurant welcome to ian's restaurant how many will be dining with you today what do they want to know how many will be dining with you today They want to know how many people, how many people are going to sit at the same table, right? If it's two people, they might give you a small table. If it's 10 people, they will try to find a larger table for you. So usually that's the first question, unless they ask you, do you have a reservation? So some restaurants maybe take reservations and they might ask you that first. So we can answer, I would like a table for four people, please. Or I'd like a table for four, or a table for two, or a table for eight. Sadia is here. Great. Hi, Sadia. Table for four, please. That is perfect. So they just want to know how many people are in your group to know which table they should put you at. And then once you tell them, they will say, come with me, or... You have to wait, maybe. So they'll say, right this way, follow me. Or they will say, you have to wait. The wait will be 20 minutes for your table. OK, great. Oopsie doopsies. OK, there we go. So next question they might ask, once you sit down, are you ready to order? So are you ready to order after you look at the menu? Maybe they say, what can I get you today? So what do we say to that? So are you ready to order? What can I get you today? So you can write your answer into the box, into the chat. I'll keep going here. Oops. Oh, you can say something like, I'd like um, eggs and toast and coffee, please. Or you can say, can I get this thing? Can I get a pizza? Can I get chicken nuggets, uh, something like that. So order for yourself, say what you want. Maybe you have questions as well. So you have questions about the ingredients or the way it's cooked or is it good or not good. So maybe you say, what is in the chicken sandwich? And they tell you the ingredients. You can say, is it good? Yes, it's good. Okay, I want that one then. So often they will ask you, are you ready to order? And what can I get for you today? Often we order the food, then they might ask, can I get you anything to drink? Right, so yes or no. Yes, I will have some water or I'll have coffee, I'll have tea, whatever you want to order. Sure, I'll have blank, or you could say, no, thank you. Maybe you have a question. What is the blank like? What is the pizza like? How is it cooked? Oh, this is a good expression. Can I substitute? 
So some restaurants allow you to change things in the, in the dish. For example, maybe my hamburger comes with fries, but I don't like French fries. So I ask for soup instead of fries. Pretty cool, huh? Maybe they do it, maybe they don't. Uh, so can I substitute soup for fries, please? Maybe they do it for free. Maybe they charge you extra money to make the substitution. But you can ask, right? You ask your server, can I substitute this thing for this thing? Oh, wow. Sadia has an order. Okay, I'll write this down, Sadia, and bring it right over after today's lesson. Cup of coffee with cream and sugar, eggs benedict with cheese, and some potatoes on the side. Wow. That sounds delicious. That is a great order, Sadia. And I'll bring that over right after today's lesson. Uh, not really, sorry. Uh, I don't provide that service. But excellent order, great example of what to order for breakfast. So thank you very much for sharing. Okay, moving on. A few more expressions, then we're gonna do our practice, okay? Often they will ask you, is everything okay? or how is everything? So once the food's ready, they bring you the food, they give you a few minutes to eat it, and then they'll come back within, I'd say about three or four minutes. And they'll ask, is everything okay? Or how is everything? This is your chance to tell them if anything is missing. Oh, uh, can I have some ketchup please? Or maybe there's a problem. And this is your chance to tell them that there is a problem with your order. So everything is great, thanks. Or can I get some of this ketchup, salt, sugar, any of those things? This is your chance to ask. Maybe you have a problem. So this is really important because you're paying a lot of money. You want your food to be good. So you can say, excuse me, my something is cold. My soup is cold or undercooked. They did not cook this thing long enough. So usually for meat, my steak is undercooked. Maybe they cooked it too much, so it's overcooked. Maybe it's just not good. You don't like the taste. If you tell them, they will fix it. So they will change the order. They will bring you a different order, usually for no extra money, right? So if something is really not good and there's a problem, you need to tell them. Or maybe they messed up your order. So you, they gave you the wrong order and that's not good. You should get what you want in a restaurant. And Sadia has another comment here. Can I have some more toast, please? Of course, uh, yes, you may. Uh, would you like white, whole wheat? What kind of toast do you want? And we'll give her a second to answer. So anyway, you can complain. If things are not good, you tell them. Tell your server and they will fix it for you or else they will not charge you money for your meal. Finally, after your meal is finished, so you finish the main course, they will usually come and ask you if you want anything else, like dessert. Do you want to see a dessert menu? Or would you like anything for dessert? And you can say, yes, I'd like to look at the menu, or no, I'm fine. Uh, I've been to other countries where you order the dessert when you sit down at the beginning of the meal. But in Canada, that's not very common. Usually you order the dessert after the meal is finished. So you can say, sure, I'll have blank, I'll have cake, pie, whatever, or you can just say, no, thank you. Finally, it's time to pay. Uh, could we get the bill or check, please? So can we get the check, please? Because you have to pay. Usually you ask your server to see how much is the bill. Check it to make sure that it's not too much and the, that they put everything that you ordered on. Um, and usually they ask, do you want one bill or separate bills, separate checks? So it's up to you, uh, depends who you're with. Will one person pay or will each person pay their own bill? 
Very good. So a couple more things, then we're going to do our practice. This is a little bit longer lesson today. I hope that's okay. I hope you don't have to be anywhere. Uh, if you have to go, remember, you can watch the recording later. So let's talk a little bit about culture, Canadian culture when you're eating in a restaurant. Big thing, watch your table manners. So in Canada, we have a lot of table manners, things that you should do at the table and things you should not do at the table. Does anybody know any Canadian table manners we should do or should not do when we are eating? I'll give you a, a few seconds to answer. Oh, we have a good question from Sadia. Okay, great. So Sadia's question, is it really okay to say if things don't taste well to us? Answer, yes, you can say that, right? So if you're not happy for any reason, you don't like the taste of something, you can tell them, right? And usually they will give you the option to give you something else or to cook it differently. Uh, maybe it's too salty. The food is too salty. You don't like it that salty. Send it back. They will send you another one without that much salt. So uh, Sadi is saying, coming from India, we're just too skeptical to raise complaints. We tend to make do with what is given to us. So we, won't we be frowned upon if we ordered something and it didn't live up to our expectations? I don't think so. Uh, so that's a really good question, Sadia. Um, I don't think so. I think that the restaurant wants you to be happy because if they make you happy, you will tell people, right? You'll tell them, wow, check out this restaurant. They, they replaced my meal with something else. Um, they say that a happy customer will tell five people and an unhappy customer will tell 30, 40, 50 people. So they want you to be happy, they want you to enjoy your meal. It's okay to tell them it doesn't taste good. And then you can substitute it for something else. So go for it, Sadia, don't be shy. You should get what you want in the restaurant, something that tastes good to you. Uh, I think if you did it like three or four times at the same meal and said, oh, I don't like this. And then they brought you something else and you ate that and said, I don't like this, give me something else then they would say, you're being too much trouble. Um, so I would just maybe one time, uh, and then they would replace that meal if you're not happy. Okay, good question, Sadia. Okay, things to remember when eating in a restaurant. Watch your table manners. So in Canada, we have lots of table manners. One is don't eat with your elbows on the table. So it's considered rude to put your elbows on the table, Nom, 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 and then eat food during the meal. Don't burp or fart. So don't release gas from your mouth or from your bum. Burping and farting is not considered to be polite. Okay, Sadia has another one. Chewing loudly. Yes, so try to control the, the volume of your chewing. Chew quietly usually with your mouth closed. So like that, not like nom, 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 nom. It's very annoying, it's considered very rude. And I think it's universal, but I've been to a few places where it's not so frowned upon to chew with your mouth open, to talk while you eat. Um, so just wanted to remind people about that. Topics of conversation. So watch what you talk about, especially depending on who you're with. Choose polite topics of conversation because you are in a public place. Uh, volume, don't talk too loudly, right? Don't shout, don't yell because other people are trying to avoid, uh, avoid loud noises and they want to have a quiet meal with their friends or family. Uh, drinking alcohol. So. Alcohol is served in lots of restaurants, but don't drink too much so that you get, you fall over, you throw up. Uh, you want to control how much alcohol you take and don't eat with your hands unless it's a food where you're supposed to eat it with your hands. Like sandwiches, pizza, you can eat with your hands, but spaghetti, don't eat with your hands. 
another one I wanted to mention that I forgot to put in is telephone. It is not polite to use your phone when you're eating at a restaurant, right? So if you're in a group of people, keep the phone away. If somebody calls you, please excuse yourself, go answer the phone and come back to the table. So telephone now is a big problem when you're trying to manage your table manners. There's a couple others before we start. Oh, I did it again. Sorry, I, there we go. So sharing, um, it is polite with certain types of food to offer to share with somebody, right? So if I have French fries, I might offer the other people at the table some of my French fries. But if it's something that isn't easy to share like uh, spaghetti, maybe I don't share that. But it is polite to offer people to try something if you have something that can be shared. Paying the bill. So who pays for the bill in Canada? It does one person pay the bill or do you get separate checks? This one depends who invited who for dinner and what is the relationship between the people? So if they're friends, usually they pay separately. Uh, if it's a date, boyfriend and girlfriend, maybe one of them will pay for that meal. Not always the man, but yeah. So it's, it's usually agreed upon between the people. Sometimes you might want to treat your friend or somebody to a meal. And you should make that clear in the invitation. So when you invite them, you can say, I would like to treat you to dinner on Friday. Would you like to come? And they can decide then Yes, I want you to pay for my meal. Great. So cultures of our countries are the same. So yes, maybe the culture is the same. Uh, Irene, I think you're in Russia, is that correct? So maybe Russia and Canada have a similar culture around paying the bill. Okay, great. Or maybe it's, it's about watching your manners as well. Okay, let's talk about tipping. Tipping is a big one. So at the end of the meal, we should leave a tip for our server. But the question is, how much? How much tip do we leave? Maybe in some countries, it's 5%. Some countries, 10%. Some countries, 15 20 or even more. What is the culture in Canada when it comes to leaving a tip? Any guesses? Okay, I'll let you answer that one. So this is based on feeling, on the quality of the meal, but there are standards in Canada. So nowadays, it's common to pay 15% or more for a tip. So 15 is usually the minimum tip. So you can look at your bill, use your calculator, multiply by 15%, and that is the tip that you're supposed to leave. Some people tip more. Some people it's 20% or 25%. So like I said, depends on the quality of the meal, but in Canada, 15% is the standard and some people pay 20% or more for tip. But yes, you should leave a tip if you're in a restaurant where people serve you food. Uh, remember not in like a fast food restaurant, maybe not a cafe like Starbucks, but when you go have a meal, you should leave a tip. All right, last thing for today, let's do a little bit of practice. So I have a meal, like a menu. This is my restaurant. And let's practice a little bit. So 
For the main course, there's pizza, cheese, meat, or vegetarian. There's pasta, spaghetti with meatballs or vegetables, and that comes with salad, and burgers. So served with fries, chicken, beef, or veggie burger. There is also side dish, salad or soup. There is drinks, pop, juice, coffee or tea, beer or wine. And then there's dessert, cake or pie, chocolate cake or apple pie. So let's do a little practice. Imagine that you are in my restaurant. I will be the server and you will order food. Okay, so uh, welcome to Ian's restaurant. How many people will be eating with you today? You can type in your answers into the comment section. So welcome to Ian's restaurant. How many people will be eating with you today? Okay, you can type in your answer. If nobody answers, you would just say two people, three people, or I'm alone. You can eat by yourself, 10 people. How many people will be eating with you today? Um, okay, next question. Where would you like to sit? Would you like to sit by the window or would you like to sit in the booth over here? Okay, so where would you like to sit? Would you like to sit by the window or would you like to sit in the booth? Okay, so you could say, I'd like to sit by the window, please, or I prefer to sit in the booth. All right, next question. Would you like a drink? Would you like a drink to start? Okay, Irene has a good answer for the last question. I will be alone, so it's just me. Great. Perfect answer, Irene. Um, so the next question was, would you like anything to drink to start? Yes, I would like pop or coffee or no, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, usually water is free. You can get water for free in Canada and that is fine. And great, Irene. So Irene wants to sit by the window. Okay, no problem, Irene. I will show you to your table by the window. Okay, great. So next question was, would you like anything to drink? Okay, I give you your drink and then I will say, what would you like to order? What would you like to order? So look at our menu. What would you like to order? Let's say it's lunch. What would you like to order for lunch? Okay, I'll give you a second to answer. All right, so you can choose something from the menu. Uh, pizza, I would like a pizza with cheese, please. Or I'd like a vegetarian pizza. I would like a chicken burger with fries, please. Um, or you can get, say, pasta and soup. Right. So what would you like to order? Look at the menu, choose something, and then place your order. You can also order drinks as well. Okay, so that's a good thing to practice. Uh, next question, so after I bring you your food, I'll come back in a minute and I will say, what would you like? Uh, or sorry, I will say, how is everything? How is your order? Oh, this is great. Okay, so we have some answers. I will take some coffee, please. Very good, Irene. So you're gonna have some coffee would you like cream and sugar or milk? 
and bay. Oh, great. A table for five, please. I'd like to sit by the window, please. Yes, I'll drink. I'd like to drink an orange juice. I would like to have a vegetarian pizza, please. Excellent, Bay. So you put all your answers together. That is perfect. Uh, great job. Maybe you would say sit. I'd like to sit by the window, please. So instead of seat, just put sit, S-I-T, and then your answer is perfect. Okay, great job. So my next question was, how is everything? You have your food, you have your meal, how is everything? This is your chance to say there's a problem or everything is good. Okay, so everything's fine, I have a problem, uh, sit, uh, thank you, uh, no problem, Bay. So after that, everything's fine, you're finished eating your meal, I will come back and say, would you like any dessert? Would you like any dessert today? Or can I get you anything for dessert? So you have two choices, cake or pie. You can also order coffee or tea. That's, you know, usual to have with your dessert. So some people want dessert, yes, please, I'll have this, or no, thank you, just the bill, please, or just the check. So that's your chance to say, I'm finished. Can you bring us the check, please? Okay, finally, last question. Will you have separate checks or will you pay together? So will you pay together or do you want separate checks? So depending on what you decide with your table, one person will pay or everybody will pay separately. Both are okay in Canada. Okay, and then usually we pay at the table. We sit at the table, we pay our server, they have machines for credit card, debit card, or we can pay cash. Uh, in some cases, we have to go to the front, to the host or cashier, and we pay our bill there. So if you're not sure, ask the waiter, waitress, or server where you need to go to pay. Okay, so basically that is the end of today's lesson. It was a long lesson today. Thank you so much for sticking around. To review, we looked at restaurant vocabulary. We looked at different expressions for restaurant. We talked about culture. So what are the tips? We need to have table manners, don't look at your phone, uh, tipping in a restaurant, and that type of thing. And finally, we got some practice. So this is something that you can practice before you go to a restaurant. So think about what you can say. You can also check out the menu online usually. So you know you're going to a restaurant, look at the menu, I always do this, to see if there's any food I would like to eat at this restaurant. So you can look at, you can look up the words from the menu, so when you go to the restaurant, you are prepared and you know what you want, how you want it, and then you can relax during the meal. So that's a little tip to make it a comfortable experience for eating at a restaurant in Canada. So that is today's lesson. Um, thank you so, so much for coming, everybody. Uh, so thank you for coming. Thank you for participating. If you're watching the replay, thank you very much as well. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to our website, www.rightstartcanada.ca, and you can go get some more practice on the lessons afterwards. Um, so thank you so much, everybody. We will be back on Thursday. So Thursday morning, 11 o'clock Halifax time, we will talk about phrasal verbs. So this is a very interesting lesson, should be good. You learn some new expressions, some new phrasal verbs. Uh, thank you, Joyce, Bay, Irene, Sadia, Abdullah. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a great day. Bye everybody.